Yo, what's going on guys? Back with another video. Cassius Stanley coming out of Duke. So let me hear before we start your opinions of Cassius Stanley in the comment section down below. Hit that subscribe button, like, comment, let's go. Who is Cassius Stanley and where will he be drafted? Stanley is one of the most explosive athletes in this draft. He's a guy that projects as a plus defender as a result. If you assume that his 36% three-point shooting is for real, he's a solid 3 and D wing prospect that could find a way onto an NBA roster. His shooting mechanics are a little funky, and he was flat out bad shooting off the dribble, which are skills needed for a modern NBA combo guard. Cassius Stanley's athleticism is elite, but it also can be seen as a weakness as he sometimes relies way too much on it. He's out jumping his opponents right now, however, at the next level you won't be able to rely so much on his athleticism because most players will be able to keep up with him. Stanley can be too aggressive on the defensive end and sometimes gets into foul trouble. When his team needs him to be out there, he's not because of the foul trouble he sometimes gets into. He is needed on the floor to get rebounds, especially on the offensive side, and he shouldn't be a burden onto his team. Cassius should be on the floor and has to learn how to not be overly aggressive on the defensive end. Furthermore, another thing you should work on is his off the dribble shooting. If he can showcase it more, it can help him offensively when he cannot body bigger defenders in the paint and rely on his strength. Also, if he develops this off the dribble shooting, it will create more opportunities for Stanley to penetrate and kick it out to the open teammate for a score. I know he's more of a shooting guard, aka combo guard, but I like to see him distribute the ball more. He has no problem getting to the basket, but he has tunnel vision when he does get into the lane on many occasions. Cassius Stanley is an exciting player to watch because of his athleticism as mentioned, and he's also demonstrated leadership for the Blue Devils even though he's only a freshman. Stanley is an extremely gifted player and deserves to get a ton of mentions in this year's NBA draft if he chooses to stay in it. If he decides to stay in another year in college, Cassius can work on his weaknesses. Another year at Duke will not hurt his draft stock and I believe will really help him. If Stanley can prove that his shooting wasn't a fluke, then he will rise up the draft boards. Cassius Stanley also has improved himself as a standout defender or capable shooting off the dribble as well as passing. Three areas he'll need to address. The sky's the limit for Stanley as he continues to work on his game, even if he stays in this year year's draft, there's a good chance that a team will take him as a second round flyer, and most will make him work his way up from the G League to an NBA roster. Yeah, you know me, I love me some Courtney Lee, but no, we're not going to compare him to Courtney Lee, but yeah, that was Cassius Stanley, and we're going to compare him to anybody, um, I don't even know, he's kind of not his own type player, but I'm trying to think of, not Tony Snell, but he's just a really good guy, maybe like, he's not as lengthy as Taylor Horn Tucker. But he's a good guy who could be a 3 and D guy. Let me hear your opinions down below. What do you think of the video? What do you think of Cassius Stanley? Let me hear you smack that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications to get more daily NBA content like this. I hope you guys have a great day because I know I will. Until next time, guys. Peace out.